white, they rely on their senses more so to pick up the vibration of prey on the water. That's the reason why I was patting my hand on the water or throwing a marshmallow kind of hard. They key in on it a lot faster. They also have two nostrils on the tip of their snout. So that means alligators do have lungs. Now what stops an alligator from drowning because they do swim with their mouth open most of the time? <laughs> it's a little flap in the back of the throat. See it? They keep it airtight. Alligators also have two sets of eyelids, just like a shark. See it? Like their own personal swim goggles. They also do have ears. It's a little slit one behind each eye. They hear really good. They also have five toes in the front and four in the back. Now the way to actually tell the sex of an alligator, it has to be at least three foot in length. And the way we do it, guys, is through this little hole right here. This little hole is called the cloaca. This is everything to an alligator besides eating. What we will do when they're at least three foot in length is stick our finger inside the cloaca. If we feel anything at all, it'd be a male. If not, it'd be a female. Unless you actually know the alligator personally, that's how you say it. Whoever wants to hold it, y'all welcome to do so. How old is this little guy? Two months. Yes, they do have teeth and it does bite hard, even at that age. So have you just been carrying them in your pocket this whole time? Yep. That's cool. Nah, I had them in a little cooler. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>